Jeremy Clements arrived at the 2022 NASCAR Xfinity Series season opening race at Daytona with a lot of confidence, and justifiably so. 2021 was the best season of his lengthy career. He finished with a career best eight top 10 finishes for the season. That consistency paid off in his first ever berth in the playoffs on points. That's no small feat for a small family team. Unfortunately, any hopes of making a deep run in the postseason came crashing down in the round of 12 at Las Vegas when the number 51 car was caught up in a massive multi-car pileup early in the first stage. Despite that disastrous start to the playoffs, he rebounded and earned another top 10 finish at Martinsville. He finished the season ranked 12th. While Clements was optimistic about starting the 2022 season at Daytona, things didn't get off to the best of starts when he struggled in qualifying and needed a provisional to make the field. Once the race started, Clemens quickly flashed his speed and within the first dozen laps had surged into the top 10. After seeing how fast he moved up through the field, he said he thought about moving to the front and leading some laps. Unfortunately, he never got there. Just a couple of laps later, disaster struck. The veteran driver fell victim to inexperience when rookie Drew Dollar making his first Xfinity Series start, got loose on the inside lane and shot up directly in front of the number 51 car for a big impact. And just like that, Clements' day was over. Unhappy, the 37-year-old took to Twitter and called out what many considered to be a problem with the NASCAR business model. That's what happens when you have guys that buy rides that shouldn't be out there, he tweeted. In an interview, Clements provided clarity on his remarks. Yeah, I mean, that's basically it. You got guys like that that are inexperienced and probably should be racing in ARCA uh, a lot more before they step into the Xfinity Series or even the Truck Series, um, buying top dollar rides that cost hundreds of thousands of dollars for one race when I've just been working really hard to, to, to do it myself for a lot less money and and not near as good as equipment. So it's just frustrating to see that. Moving past that frustration, Clements is looking forward to the next race in California and the first one of the West Coast Swing, which will undoubtedly help get rid of that bad taste from Daytona. But thinking big picture, this next race at Fontana is much bigger than that for the 37-year-old driver. It's the 400th Xfinity Series start of his career which ranks in the top 10 all time. That's a huge achievement for the driver owner, and he's understandably proud of his accomplishment. Funding is other teams, but I'm very proud of what we've accomplished and what we've done. And um, it's been a struggle, you know, a lot of the time just trying to get the racetrack. And, but it's been a lot of fun, and um, I'm definitely proud of, of, of all that we've accomplished. Uh, you know, I, I want more though. I'm a racer. It's why I'm still doing this because I want more. I want to. I want to win. I want us to win. It'd be great to to win again in in this team with this team uh, going up. You know, David versus Goliath. So uh, still got a lot left un unaccomplished. Uh, you know, David versus Goliath summarizes Clements' entire career. Unbelievably, he connected with one stone back in 2017 when he shocked the NASCAR world and won at Road America. He's looking for that next win. It's what drives him and the reason why he's put in all the hard work to make it happen since 2003. Will 2022 be the season he makes his way back to victory lane again? If 2021 is any indication, he's heading in the right direction and anything is possible.